Hello everyone, in this video it's something a little bit different. What we're doing here is a little extension on the back of a house here. It's all gonna be madness today. It's come time to put the floor joists on here. Not quite a simple case of just bolting a ledger to the wall though, uh, because this wall is coming out. So as you can see down there, we've got a steel beam. My job is to infill both sides of that with timber. Um, the outside timber is gonna take joist hangers for the joists that come through here. Um, and the inside timber, I'll go down and show you in a minute, is going to take the joists that run along the inside skin uh, inside the building. So there's a lot going on, obviously. I'm going to get this timber, uh, timber bolted into this steel while these guys, my intrepid team, are going to start taking out this wall. It's been propped from the inside. We're very much uh, like a team of space explorers this morning, um, except instead of a space shuttle, we've got a mixer over there and instead of um, uh, a degree in astrophysics and rocket scientists, I mean, I've got an O-level in um, woodwork. Andy, what have you got? Uh, any O-levels? Oh, I don't know, I didn't pick the certificates up. He didn't pick the certificates up, so I'm sure we're suitably qualified to start getting this beam in here. Let's go and have a quick look inside. Let's have a quick look inside here, just to show you what's going on. So yeah, as you can see in here, obviously if I stand back here, it's all a bit of a mess, obviously. Um, the whole backside of this uh, house is coming out and obviously we've got new pad stone here and if you can see over here lights are very good just in that corner we've got a new pad stone here so all these joists are propped through here so all of this wall is going to come out and then what i'll have to do as i said if you look at my steel down here once the timber's inside there we can find a line uh, i don't know if you can see that and we can cut some of these joists off and get new joist hangers onto that timber in that steel, which will catch all those. So what I'm gonna do is jump back out here. Oh, yeah. yeah, so what I'll do is try and sort of set a camera up and watch, see how our progress goes. These are the two timbers that I've got to put inside that, the web of those steels. Um, they're obviously oversized, they're over length and over width. So just gonna grab the old Dewalt beast, rip those down, cut them to length, cut a little chamfer on the back just to take the, uh, where the where the steel curls round and then get those bolted in. You'll see there that I did the, this rip in two passes. As powerful as these saws are, the thin curved blades I find in this treated timber, they're not stiff enough. So if you try to take it through the cut in one, it makes the, the cut wander. So I just run it down in two and it makes a nice straight cut. But yeah, got lots of grunt. So you can see now, got a nice little 45 degree wasted section on the back of that bit of timber there and that'll now won't interfere with where the flange of the steel meets the web, it's slightly rounded. So we can offer those into that steel now and put one, one side on first, drill through, then put the other side on and drill through the side of the drilled and then we can bolt them up. So you can see, I've just put a timber in one side of this web, and now I'm gonna do is drill straight through these holes with a 10 mil drill bit. Look, should be able to do it. Straight through that hole there. And obviously what we can do is put the timber 
the other timber in this side and then we can knock the bolt, uh, drill back, and then you can see that drill back through this side and then we can put the bolt in. Right, so we put that other one in, you can see Dunce just drilling through from the other side, look, you can watch this live, it's happening live. Here we go. Lovely. And now we can just get our bolts, bolt all the way through. Let's do this one. Check the power. On this side, look. Uh, no, that should have a wash on it, but in this instance, as I said, uh, we don't want them to get in the way of the joints inside. Right, so you can see we've knocked a fair lump of this out. Don't be alarmed, it looks worse than it is. Um, now what I've got to do is you can see these joists here. We've got to cut these back. Now, all of this brickwork above here is coming out and the floor is going to run all the way through. So basically all we're going to do is put this steel roughly in the middle of this wall so it still catches these uh, joists here, um, which is going to support the brickwork above it until we take the brickwork out. But ultimately this steel is only, uh, when it's finished, this steel is only here to support this floor and this new floor. So what I need to do is get a nice straight line to cut these old joists off and what the the noise and what I've done is strung a line down the outside of the house here you can see and basically we've gone to the, the joist which is cut the furthest back which is this one here um, it measures 190 mil from this joist to this line so basically all I've done as you can see here I've now all I need to do is measure back you see I put a piece up there I can just measure back 190 mil, put a mark, I've got a little boat level, level that up and then I can cut that. You can see, look, a little pencil mark there, 190 mil back from this line each time. So we know that those joints will be cut off nice and straight and then we can offer this steel in and the steel will butt to this nice straight uh, line where these joists are and then we can wrap the joist hangers on them. So there you see, we've got all of those joists, I'm just going to stick, they're straight-ish. I used a mixture of uh, the little 160mm saw, I could get a little bit of some of them done and the rest of them I just did with the multi-tool. So we're going to have a sandwich now, it's just for 10 o'clock. We've got that last little bit of brickwork to take out and then we can get that steel in and start getting these joists strapped to the back of it. And then once that's done, obviously we can then just pretty straightforward lay the new joists in, mark out where the truss, uh, mark out where the joist hangers want to go and we can it should be fairly straightforward case of joisting this out there's a stairwell across the end there so there's a double uh, joist that goes in it's got a catch on that pad over there that won't be going on a double joist hanger we're going to sort of shape it into the web of the steel but we'll uh, I'll go into that when I come to it but yeah that's good progress so far there's lots of us here and it's been a bit manic as you can probably tell by the video but we just kind of got to crack on when you've got the side of someone's house open you need to get you know you need to get going when we were taking out this uh, timber work, as you'd expect, this building is quite old. We had a fair bit of woodworm, so what we're going to do is just coat the end of those joists with some wood preserver just to sort of try to neutralise any bugs that might want to continue to bore into that timber. Right, to me. Right, 
So let's see how it goes. Go forward now, yeah? So there we go, after a, a mad morning, it's been uh, quite chaotic, which is why I haven't <clears throat> been able to sort of film it as I normally would like. Joists are all in, steel's in, um, joist hangers are all nailed on this side. Obviously we've fitted the floor and glued all that down. Um, what we've done here just temporarily is um, put some timber packers in to, because it's gonna be a little while before the roof's going on and consequently the rest of this wall comes out. So they're just sort of temporarily just to, to help support that for, I don't know, maybe a week or so. And then as we look inside here, you can see that the joist hangers have gone in on this timber obviously and caught up these uh, existing floor joists. So yeah, it's been a sort of, as I said, a mad morning, but we've actually done really, really well. So we've just got this uh, double on the end here because this is gonna be a stairwell going in here and I've left the board uh, flying past just in case it's quite wide. So this may have to be sort of reduced down a bit. So uh, we've left those long so that we can pack this out if we have to. So here you go, it just gives you an idea of what, what we've done up here. As I said, stairwell going in that end, this block work's going to be taken up and then we've got a roof which uh, is it's a sort of offset hip uh, sorry it's an offset ridge so this the when we build this extension this roof line carries on up which means that the ridge won't be in the center of the span between here and here but anyway there's some block work to be done here and then the next job for me will be coming to put the roof on i think there's some steel work to go in to take the ridge but, but yeah so it's uh, you know we've got on quite well some good progress today. That is it on this one. I know it's a bit mad and, you know, because there was lots of us here, it was all hands to the pump. So not the job I sort of normally do, but um, yeah, nevertheless, we got it all done. There's some carpentry in here, got it all bolted up, uh, ready for the next phase. The bricklayers are going to take the block work up and then I think I'm coming back to do the roof. So I hope you found the video interesting. I think I might have lost some of the um, time-lapse footage of us putting the joist down so hopefully I'll be able to have enough of that time-lapse footage for you to be able to see what I'm doing but again you know I hope you found it interesting and thanks for watching